Now, Jesus sometimes is called the seal of the Israelite prophets uh, because Muslims believe that Jesus was the last prophet sent by God to guide the Israelites to aid in the ministry of the, Jesus, of the Jewish people. Jesus was given the ability to perform miracles by permission of God rather than by his own, hand, or his own power. Uh, Jesus is seen in Islam as a precursor to Muhammad uh, and is believed by Muslims to have foretold Muhammad's coming. Now there is something that's not in her head that not two people are talking about nowadays. Uh, but uh, here at the Redneck Archaeologist, we will bring out the truth no matter what. Now, however, most Muslims do believe that Jesus will return to the earth at the end of times, shortly before the Day of Judgment, and defeat the Antichrist. Now, some Hindus consider Jesus to be an avatar or a sadhu and point out the similarities between Hindu and Jesus. Now, as far as finding evidence, pure 100% evidence that dates all the way back to, to the time of Jesus or the first century, it's almost impossible because in 70 AD, Jerusalem, uh, with the siege of Jerusalem by the Romans, man, just wiped that whole place out. And uh, there was nothing that survived. I mean, there's almost nil. There's only like one bone that's even of a crucified fellow, and that's uh, from the first century. Uh, but there's only one of these things, you know, that's in existence. Uh, so there's very, very few items that came from that time. Now, there were later that they said that, you know, there's wood from the cross uh, used in the crucifixion, and then also parts of the, the crown of thorns. Uh, and then there's, the, of course, the most famous right now, and that's the Stroud of Turin. Uh, so, you know, you think some of them are, some of them are, no, shrouds, that's, that's, the jury's out on that one, man. There's some, some things about that, which is a whole different episode. We'll, we'll work on that on another one if we ever go to Italy or whatever. Uh, but there are things, you know, that it's, it's almost non-existence of having anything from the first century, from the first century, basically. Uh, to go from. Now, Jesus was put to death uh, by a guy who washed his hands of the whole affair and basically asked the Jews who they would like to, if they would execute him or one of the criminals that was beside him. And they said, no, we want, we want to execute Jesus or crucify him. And his name was Pontius Pilate. Now, is there a historical Pontius Pilate? Well, there wasn't until 1961. And then that's when the Italian archaeologist, uh, led by Dr. Antonio Frovo, uh, was excavating an ancient theater built by the decree of Herod the Great, uh, around between 30 BC and then on. And the Uh, the stone had been reused in the 4th century as part of a set of stairs leading up to the seating and was discovered uh, in situ, which means just it's discovered sitting there in, in the wall, basically, or used as a stair. And the theater is located in a town that's called Caesarea uh, Maritima, this present-day city of Caesarea on the Sea, also called Maritima. 
uh, on a partially damaged block of the dedication uh, of the defied or deified uh, Augustus and Olivia, the divine Augusti of a Tiberium. Uh, Tiberium is a building in honor of Tiberius Caesar Augustus. So basically that's what this was, is a building that was built for uh, as a Tiberium or uh, in honor of Tiberius Caesar Augustus. And uh, it's been deemed authentic, this rock has, uh, because it was discovered in the coastal town of Caesarea, which is the capital of the Judea province. And... Uh, at that time, which was uh, the time of Pontius Pilate being the uh, prefector or the Roman governor of that area. And the inscription reads, if I can butcher this Latin, uh, Dis Augustus Tiberius Tiberium Pontius Pilate Prefectus Judea Facet Decavit. And what that says in English, or transliteration from Latin to English, uh, is to the divine Augusta Tiberium, Pontius Pilate, Prefect of Judea, has dedicated this.